with uh, Camilla, the wreck wench, uh, from singledivers.com. How are you today? I couldn't be any better. And uh, we're up here, uh, like I said earlier, we're in Chicago. A um, uh, little bit cold this time of year. Today it got a little bit cold and, and ugly, but uh, uh, tell us exactly what uh, you do with your website. Singledivers.com caters to single not married and married but buddy less scuba diver. So that means the spouse doesn't dive. So you're technically a single diver. Obviously, I'm dating myself because when I learned to scuba dive, they'd say, who's a single on a boat? And it had nothing to do with your marital status. If I'd known, I would have called us buddy divers or buddy less divers. But single is your diving status, not your marital status. Where, uh, so. where are some of the trips you guys go on? We have budgets for everyone. So we go to the Caribbean, Bonaire, Cozumel. Um, we go to the South Pacific. We go to um, the Philippines. We're going to um, Rajan Pat. Then we go to the, the rest of the world. So we're going to the Red Sea this year. And we've got some new destinations that no one's ever really heard of. So there's an island in western Bahamas that has been I'm not open for scuba diving. It's called My Iguana, and they've just opened it up. We're going to be some of the very first divers diving. They're just setting the mooring balls right now to set the sights. It's pristine, it's beautiful, and it's kind of cutting edge. A um, couple other real interesting trips that are different. We're going to go dive the graveyard of the Atlantic, North Carolina, see wrecks and sharks, and we're going to go to the Cooper River to look for the big megalodon teeth um, that everybody is excited about right now because teeth are big and we're going to show you how to do that. Um, now we're from Michigan we you know we do a lot of cold water diving. You ever been under the ice or anything like that? Haven't done any ice diving yet. I am dry suit certified. Been diving a dry suit now for about three years. We've dove the Pacific Northwest and the Great Lakes is next on the agenda so we did the St. Lawrence Seaway but for all you real wreck divers you know that's like you know baby wreck diving in cold water but it was a good start now we've kind of gotten addicted so we're ready to do the the big boys here yeah you're going to be amazed at some of the wrecks we have i mean it's just really cool and exciting when we get to get to see those shipwrecks that are 100 years old 150 years old really cool you guys are going to have a good time um i also wanted to, uh, to uh, ask you about your blue hair before I answer about the blue hair, I do have to say one more thing about your wrecks, okay? So I'm used to diving on metal heaps that have disintegrated because of salt water, but your wrecks are wooden wrecks. And I hate to coin this expression, but they give me a woody thinking about the fact that I'm going to get to dive on a fully intact wreck that looks exactly like it was when it first sank. That is exciting. So you guys have some really phenomenal diving. So make sure you all pay attention to our name because you're going to see a whole lot of us around this area. Uh, now, the blue hair, uh, well, you know, if I'm in Florida, I'll tell you that the blue hair means I'm just trying to fit in with the locals, you know, the little blue-haired ladies down there. Um, and if I'm, uh, if I'm around a trade show, I tell you, hey, you know, if I can have this much fun wearing blue hair at a show, think how much fun I would be on a dive trip, right? But the truth is, I'm actually blonde, and, <laughs> and I just really did it so it would match our logo. You can see the logo there. Nice product placement. <laughs> right where everything is, uh, all of us male divers like logos to be. I, I know in my experience we've had a, uh, a lot of relationships built and they last over the course of a lifetime. That's probably the case uh, with the relationships that your, your divers build as well. It, it really is. Um, we're seven years old. We run 18 to 20 trips a year. Most dive clubs run one to two a year. We do one to two a month all over the world. And I have divers that have actually dove with me 15 times in seven years. So they're averaging two trips a year. Um, so, and it's not necessarily because I've got the best destinations, although I'm always working on a creative destination. It's because when you go on a vacation and you are matched almost ideally with a roommate and you're matched almost ideally or ideally with a dive buddy, you do forge a strong bond, not only with that individual, but with the group that created that really fun atmosphere. And the other thing that we've done is we have taken out the problems that you have on a trip for the solo traveler, okay? So you get on a boat and everybody's paired up and you're like, God, I wonder if anyone's going to want to dive with me. Are they going to want to eat dinner with me? Are they going to be friendly? And, you know, you've got all that reservation. Now, characterize that to one of our trips where everyone's on the boat going, okay, when do we get to meet everybody? And who's here? And, you know, wow, you know, it's like, there's a lot of people here. This is cool. And so we do lots of socialization, lots of mixers. And as a result, the 
probably the number one output from our dive trips is absolutely shitloads of laughter. I mean, people are laughing, cutting up. You know, the people that brought books to read on surface intervals, they don't have them. They, they never got a page turned on them. They, I guess they save them for the airport. But um, we have created not only lasting relationships, but I guess technically we've created the most permanent relationships you can for some people because although we're not a dating site, our hookups are to tanks. We have had... That was a good line, by the way. <laughs> Thanks. We've had eight engagements, five marriages, and a year ago we had the first official singlediver.com baby. So I guess you can't get any more lasting than that. And and so far we haven't had a single breakup. So, so far these relationships have truly been the ultimate in lasting. So I don't even think uh, some of the real dating sites can, can bat a thousand like you're saying here. That's pretty impressive. Uh, now, how many members do you guys have currently? We have over 6,000 members from 34 different countries, and those are members that are registered on the site. And it's free, by the way. So, um, But we've had probably 400 people just register at our booth at this show, and we still have one full day. So Chicago is going to rock when we are done. We are going to be doing local happy hours. We're going to be doing local dives. We have what we call a dive of the month, where we have local coordinators get divers together. We pick a destination, and this month we go on this boat, or we do this shore dive, and we set it up so people get a chance to meet each other locally. Times are tight. It's hard to afford those expensive trips. You got to stay in the water. Water, and then those trips will lead people to some of the more exotic trips that you'll find on our trip schedule, which is all online, by the way. Good. And uh, now you did say the magic word. You said happy hour. Uh, I assume there's there's a little bit of drinking involved with your diving after the dives, I might add. After the dives only. Um, we are not divers with a drinking problem or drinkers with a diving problem. There are clubs like that. but. It, we do know how to socialize and we have a good time and I've never known a bottle of red wine or a beer to get too far out of that equation so well it was exciting to talk to you um, we'll definitely be checking you out on singledivers.com and uh, thanks for coming hey it's been our pleasure and if you're looking for a buddy we got plenty so come on check us out singledivers.com